This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk for December 2nd, 2010. It is Thursday. All times on the chart are Central Standard Time. Uh, we've been away from uh, producing our YouTube videos for the last uh, few days as we've been uh, setting up our trading room on PalTalk. Uh, if you go to our website, rsksys.com, there's a link there to our trading room. You're welcome to drop, drop in and uh, um, hear a little bit about what we're discussing. Uh, the people that are in our trading room are experienced traders with our system and uh, therefore um, much of the discussion that goes on there is really quite technical uh, pertaining to our strategy. We do not uh, call out trades necessarily in our, in our uh, trading room for the purpose of uh, others leapfrogging on our activities, but we occasionally will uh, comment about the strategy, uh, automated strategy, taking various trades. So today we're just going to uh, review uh, a couple of things, uh, well, three things in particular. Um, we're going to review our pivot strategy, our divergence strategy, and a little bit about our trend strategy. Now what we're looking at here is the uh, pivot uh, strategy. Uh, earlier in the day, uh, this morning, as the market was moving up, we did get a few premature uh, short signals that got stopped out for a loss. And then uh, toward the middle of the morning, we hit our uh, eight tick profit target uh, here. Got a few, a couple of trades there, but the, of course, as you know, the market continued to move up strongly. Another trade uh, right there, and then we didn't get anything for the rest of the day. Uh, we have combined on this particular work uh, space, this particular chart, I should say, uh, both our retracement levels from the VIX as well as from the premium. And as you can see, we have a mess of retracement lines below the market. Now, this is typical when we get into a uh, what we call a red day up pattern. Uh, we'll get a lot of retracements on the way up, which won't get, get filled, of course, because the uh, market is just pretty much moving in one solid direction without any meaningful retracement. These retracement lines still have high probability of being hit, but as you can imagine, uh, we won't really be seeing that until the market decides to uh, drop, which uh, we fully expect that it will. Um, in any event, um, just a couple of things about our pivot strategy that maybe we haven't mentioned in the past. Now you'll see a series of different uh, short signals that are occurring and this is based upon slightly different settings in a series of strategies that we are running on this chart. The primary difference between those strategies really has to do at with the level at which we have established an overbought or an oversold zone and the accompanying stochastics that are set to, again, a variety of different uh, large contract tick intervals. So in some cases, the bulk of the strategies hit all at the same time. That's good. Here we didn't get as many of the strategies hitting, and here all of them hit again. All of the strategies hit exactly at the same time. So not too much uh, variety uh, there. <laughs> but now let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the difference between this and the divergence uh, strategy. Now, as the pivot strategy hit a little prematurely here, as the market moved up, and we, you know, these, these trades really didn't make any money. But then over here, again, we, we hit the profit target, but we basically only had one set of trades right in here, whereas the pivot strategy uh, picked off a, a couple of other entries. So the Divergent strategy hit here and here, 
but did not pick off the trade here. Matter of fact, here's a, here's a little better way of looking at it. No trade on the pivot strategy here, divergent strategy here. Both traded at this particular time, but only the pivot strategy took that trade. Then here we had the divergent strategy here and then here simultaneous with the pivot strategy. Now ordinarily, ordinarily we would expect the pivot strategy to fire off a trade followed by a divergence strategy hitting if we get to say a higher high but we don't meet our uh, trade conditions. In this case those divergence strategies hit uh, prior to the pivot strategy. Then toward the close we had a few more trades on the divergence strategy and uh, then the market closes. So there's a brief comparison there, but honestly, we're, we're expecting a much bigger uh, sell-off. Um, although the, we we know that there's a little bit more room on the upside, you know, before this market is liable to really tank. So uh, we would anticipate that tomorrow, Friday, the third, uh, the market will probably be going up again, at least for a little while before we begin to see the market drop because we just have a ton of retracements. Ordinarily, our retracements are anywhere from you know, 85 to 95% accurate. And that, of course, is generally experienced when we have a much more volatile market, but it's just been steadily climbing here for the past couple of days and uh, haven't had much volatility. Now, here is our trend uh, setting in the uh, strategy and the uh, trends uh, the trend uh, strategy only began to start firing off trades uh, uh, after the initial move up nothing before that then we started getting the trend uh, uh, strategy pulling pulling trades now we had just a modest profit target on this. Uh, we could have probably raised that a lot, la lot larger, uh, given that this is a red day pattern, and red day patterns uh, typically will hit their high in the last half hour of the uh, of the day, uh, which of course they did. So uh, a trader could have stood to uh, hold these trades a lot longer than are is being shown here. But those are just a few of the entries that the uh, pivot strategy uh, entered, uh, or, or pardon me, the trend strat strategy entered uh, on the way up. So that's our video for today. We invite you to uh, peruse our website at rsksys.com and uh, come uh, join us in the trading room, uh, be our guest uh, to take a look at uh, some of the things that we're doing. Not that you could see it, I shouldn't have said look. Uh, we don't have uh, that uh, kind of arrangement in the trading room. But it is a, a nice place for those who are familiar with our strategy to uh, discuss what we see happening in the market, uh, where we expect um, trades to, to take place. And then it's, uh, of course, interesting to watch the uh, strategy pull those trades. Uh, you can also ask for a personal demo hook you up to our computers and explain things in greater detail. Uh, the cost of our system is on our website and uh, for more information feel free to give us a phone call. This is Rod Kusin and Spoonham for Risk.